And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Italy, and they take on Spain. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Leonardo Bonucci plays with Giorgio Chiellini in central defence. Lorenzo Insigne starts with Federico Chiesa on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today, Ciro Immobile. Here's the lineup for Spain. Koke starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And so the match is underway. Ciro Immobile. The ball with Chiesa. Crossing possibilities. And the cross comes to nothing in the end. Sergio Busquets. Well, he is a player with the capacity to dominate any game, Marco Verratti. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. A smart stop here. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Pedri. Koke Sergio Busquets and they'll get ready for the throw in Bonucci Verratti Lorenzo Insigne Spinazzola just cutting off the supply. Good pressure to regain possession. Chiesa. Still could be dangerous. Well, nothing comes of it. Ferran Torres. Pedri. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Coquet. Okay. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Barella. Immobile now.
Insigne on the ball, options around him. Insigne. And an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Still not clear. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Sergio Busquets. Danny Olmo with it. And that puts them in position. Can he finish? And the keeper taking it cleanly. And intercepts again. Pedri. And back with Moreno. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Big chance! My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And how about the short corner? Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And possibilities here. Oh, he's done it! But hang on, offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here, but the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Jordi Alba. It's with Laporte. Gerard Moreno. Now Busquets. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was all was going to be claimed. Verratti. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Jorginho. Still passing it around with authority. No-nonsense clearance. Hero Immobile. Excellent defending. Well, he's lost it. Jorginho. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. All hands on deck. And the counter-attack came to nothing. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Wonderful header, excellent goalkeeping. Well, they've been quiet for a while now, but this has got them going.
Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Over it comes. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Marcos Llorente. So, 20 minutes to go. Promising attack, this. He's beaten his man. Koke. Must be. Full credit. Wonderful stop. And he's fired over the corner. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Chiellini. Immobile now. Immobile. Can he give them the lead? Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, that's a really cool finish. Just look how he lifts it beyond the goalkeeper. That's a great bit of skill. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And that's an important intervention. Space afforded him. Teammates in the middle. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. To the middle from Lorenzo Insigne. Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. And they're making a change. Okay. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Koke with it. Marcos Llorente has it. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Rodri. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Well, he served his team well in typical fashion, Ciro Immobile. How would you sum up what he put into the game? Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.